Hey guys, welcome to Calculus Daily episode 7. We'll be looking at three achieved questions today. Here we go. I think this one we are looking at is we are, we've been asked to find the argument of ZW. So first step is actually to try and do ZW um, and then work out what the argument is. I think we were just talking about it. So, so to do ZW, I have uh, Z equals Z times W. So I have 4 plus 2i multiplied by negative 1 plus 3i. And if I expand this out, I get negative 4 plus 12i minus 2i plus 6i squared. Okay, and getting rid of the i squared, the 12i minus 2i is 10i. And plus 6i squared, it will become plus 6 times negative 1. So I have 10i minus 4 minus 6, uh, which is just negative 6 plus, sorry, not negative 6, negative 10, right? Mm -hmm. Negative 10 plus 10i. Now, remember that argument. Um, so if you take a complex number uh, and if you plot it, the argument is this angle here from from the x-axis from the horizontal going make sure it's going anti-clockwise right so looking at this I don't even need to use a calculator because I can actually plot this it's negative 10 plus 10 I okay so if it's negative 10 it's gonna be here that's negative 10 and then positive 10 I is gonna be somewhere there so this is going to look like this this is the complex number I'm looking at Okay, now the angle that I need to find in this case, I'm just going to try and find a nice color. I'm going to go with red. So the angle that I want to find out is this red angle right there. Okay, now I want you guys to have a look at this because with this one, you don't actually need to use a calculator. You can just pick off the angle straight away. Because if I was to draw this as a triangle, if I was to draw this as a triangle, I'm just going to draw a triangle of that complex number at the bottom there. See, the length of the, the horizontal part is 10, and the vertical part is also 10. So what type of triangle do you see? Isosceles. isosceles. So if you see isosceles, then this angle here is going to be 45 degrees, mm -hmm. right? Which means I'm going to put that 45 there. So the actual red part of the angle that I'm looking at is going to be 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. So the angle argument in this case is going to be 135 degrees okay mm -hmm. next question yep. any questions with this one if, if it wasn't like 10 10 then you have to use the trigonometry yeah. yeah then you'd have to use trigonometry and um and i think that's the key thing is like trying to like when you once you start playing around with you start looking at patterns of the numbers um, also, if you notice, if you played around with special triangles, you can actually start picking off numbers there as well. Like, yeah, it's just something to, useful to know. But yeah, of course, you can always use the calculator to try and figure it out as well. That's like a better question, right? Sorry? That's like a better question. I think this was an achieved question. Wait, let me have a look. No, this is still, it will still be an achieved. <laughs> just using trig is not going to convert it to merit. Trig is like level two. But it's another skill. I was showing Grant earlier, if you had something like um, X plus XI and then mm. something like that, then of course it'll turn into a merit. But we'll, we'll do questions later on like that. All right, so moving on to the next question. Differentiation, we have for what values of X does the tangent to the graph of function have a gradient of 4? So the first thing we really want to do is we want to try and figure out what F dash of X is. So f dash of x in this case, well, we've got 5 ln of 2x minus 3. So when we differentiate this, we're going to get 5 over 2x minus 3 multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's in the bracket, which is 2. So our gradient in this case, gradient function, is 10 over 2x minus 3. So that's the first step. So now they're asking for what values of x does have a gradient of x what is it have a gradient of 4 so we have 4 as f dash of x equals 4 so we have 10 over 2x minus 3 equals 4 rearranging it I'm going to get 10 equals 4 times 2x minus 3 
and expanding it, I have this, which means 8x is equal to 10 plus 12, 22 equals 8x, and x is equal to 22 over 8. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Did you get that one? Cool. So yeah, just straightforward differentiation, put it equal to the value, and then just sort it out. Another, I think this is also another achieved question. Okay. All right, next one. So with this one, you're asked to to use the trapezium rule. All right. Don't even like, I mean, for this, just get the formula out straight away. Um, so I've actually put the formula in there. Um, all you really need to look at is your y values. All right. Basically, this is this part here. You just need to have a look at your y values and actually just put it in the equation and just add it. So what we have is, um, I'm just going to put it as area equals half times h. Mm -hmm. Now h is this right here, how much it's actually increasing by, so which is 0 0.25. Yeah. And that's um, multiplied by y0, yn. So just remember, like y0 is your first one y1, y2, y3, blah, 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 all the way to y6. So it's basically always the first and last term you added. Yep. So we're going to have y0, which is 0 0.3 plus 1.1. Isn't it times by 2? Not the y0 and y. Oh, you just added at the end. Okay, no worries. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then 2 times the rest of the stuff yep. in the middle, which is 0 0.7, 1.65, 1 1.9 plus 2.35 plus 1.7 and then put it all together oh. yeah whatever that value is let me just find out hold on two right so that actually adds up to 2.25 is that right Thank you for that. no worries mate right team that's us for this I'll day's session Friday. yes grant will be here friday <laughs> good lord <laughs> all right thank you for watching see you guys later